Over 200 civil society organizations have given the federal government 14 days to release the publisher of Sahara Reporters, Mr. Omoyele Shiwore, or risk a mass action and civil disobedience across the country. The organizations at an emergency world press conference on Monday described the rearrest of Shiwore as an act of dictatorship which will never be allowed to stand. The CSOs also demanded the immediate release of all political prisons being held without justification. They retreated that the failure of the federal government to adhere to their demands will result in a nationwide shutdown. So guys, I think uh, that is the way to go. That is the best way to go because these people have really taken us serious. And somebody was saying the reason why most of these politicians, because they are the same. Even if Buhari is not there, other people, they have behaved in one way or the other, just like it. there's this arrogance in them. And because they've already studied the masses, they've already been able to know their weaknesses, that the only thing they will do is just to talk, 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 no action. And I'm still wondering why some people are still calling on Shore this and that, that he's so arrogant, is this and that, is this and that, he shouldn't have, uh, that the way he went about the whole thing caused this whole thing. Okay, what would he have done? What would he have done? And they know quite all right, this uh, issue of a uh, revolution, no revolution, is just mass protest, and they are just capitalizing on it. Somebody who wants to overthrow the government or to unseat a government, is, are you going to be announcing it? Oh, everybody come, oh, everybody come. Oh. They know sim in simple terms, and that's why the, the old world is not even taking the Nigerian government serious that you are charging him for treason, that he wanted to overthrow you by making announcements and all of that. So, at the end of the day, people are like, oh, he wouldn't have done that. He would have consulted them. He would have done this. He would have done it differently. Why? Meanwhile, the rest people also, they are always talking. People are always talking. I've heard a lot of people, even before now, they will say, well, Nigerians, they are always talking, talking, making mouth. They don't know action. And I, you know, I used to like, you know, tell people that, you know, the reason why a lot of people are always talking and not, you know, acting is that because of the way the government has always been be behaving using the security agencies to to threaten people and a lot of people just believe that instead of me to go and die nobody wants to die so it's not as if uh, maybe they don't know what to do and we have been seeing pockets of people even when this uh, man started this whole thing this uh, charlie boy too when he tried to start it and at the end of the day what happened you know everything just went you know the way people never thought and people were even laughing at him when he was being tear gas in fountain whatever a uh, ground in abuja People were laughing at him that who sent you. You can imagine. And they were coming out. That was when they were telling the president to come back from UK when he went for medical treatment. They were telling him, you have to resign or you come back and all of that. So people were still laughing at him. Oh, who sent you message? Oh, he's just looking for popularity. And meanwhile, they will be in their house complaining. The ones that will have the boldness to come out before you know, they will just rubbish them. The same masses will rubbish them they will be shouting oh economy is bad oh security is this this and this and that. what are you going to do you will just stay in the corner of your house at most you will see people you know uh taking themselves you know gathering in two two three three just discuss it and everybody goes home everybody goes back everybody just goes go to their different uh, uh workplace and nothing will happen they will complain complain so they have seen that nigerians are so docile and they are always afraid and they are not united and that is another big big problem that is making us not to achieve anything even as we speak now when shiwore and ade uh, when ade yonju um dejade yonju and um charlie boy when they did their own all manner of things at the end of the day they still arrested dejade yonju try to bring out a, a case that i don't even know where they reported it from a case of murder the guy spent it was this time around last year how many days did he spend there People were abusing him. People were cursing him. Oh, this and that. That sounds right. This and this and that. You want to... Then, he did, that one did not use the word revolution. No. They still abuse his family, abuse everything pertaining to that gentleman. They said all manner of rubbish to him. He didn't use revolution. No. He was just talking about bad governance. He started all of this thing. Now, Shuare is coming out. Okay, let us come together. People say, hmm, what is my business? What is my business? Uh, he left his family in the U.S., coming here to come and deceive people deceive you deceive you now that he's facing all of this he knew quite all right that nobody will want to challenge governments that they want to and because government will not want you to challenge them challenge them in the sense that telling them before their face that what you are doing is not good to the masses 
they will close border body themselves they will go abroad go and buy foreign things they get a different kind of a allowances they get a manner of this and this and that not any big you know that will benefit the masses but they just come out and be singing rhetorics and that is what people want like i always tell people that a lot of people a lot of nigerians a lot of nigerians who are always, always supporting these people go and check most of them most of them are living from hand to mouth most of them you can't even blame them because they have never seen good life before they don't know what it means to have a good environment so they've been you know in a, an environment where the portals is the order of the day you know they've not ever they've never experienced anything like good road so if any all these governments of or whatever police they just come and tie you know little road for them oh they will be singing their praises to high heavens they don't even know that these guys are really cheating them that they are, they are even doing the service to them or they will come up during the election give them peanuts they oh they have tried oh why are you criticizing them they have even tried don't you know that even the one that did this that was there before they didn't even do up to what this one is doing i mean why they don't know that these guys are really cheating them the ones who know who have seen the light they are the ones that are always talking because when you are telling somebody who has never experienced uh, electricity you know for good three months that there's no 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 uh, fire fire uh, whatever or uh, electricity where there's no there's no you know no uh, blackout at all for three months somebody who is always you know used to maybe one month there's no lights one month, three three days there's no light some people nine months they don't even have transformer and all of that they're always in darkness they're always going to be buying fuel so that's the, the kind of life they most of the people who are always coming at you be wondering that you see them you, that the suffering is all over them yet they will be supporting what is not and that's why you see some people they have gone into thuggery they'll be working for all these uh, politicians because and uh, uh, they just believe that that is the only way they can really they can really get their own they don't know that these people are really ruining their lives so once somebody who has never who has never even seen modern day infrastructure infrastructure they will be when they see any form of locomotive uh, train oh they will be happy oh they have done this oh they passed all of them whether this uh, administration or the past, the one before or before they have not done anything they have not done anything so that is why you see people trying to compare oh compare this one is better because majority of them have not even seen see what it means to have a good life to have a good environment to have a good government to even cater for them for their welfare it's not done when they are hearing it is just like it can that be possible i could remember before we got a uh, this all this uh, gsm and all of that people were didn't believe it they will still go to all these uh, neighboring countries they have even shoemaker even pepper seller we have three phones people say i beg go and sit down who told you it's not possible it's not possible but when it happened you know people like really seriously can this really happen now anybody can get phone even you can even buy phone for your unborn children you just keep it there if you don't like it you sell it you buy another one it has get, it got into that level. Initially, when the SIM came out, it was so expensive. But now, people, they are still begging you, this uh, service operators, they are still begging you to come and take. So, it has become normal. But before it came into existence in Nigeria, people never believed it could happen. So, it is the same thing. Those who have traveled abroad, who have seen how things work all over, you know, in other developed countries, it is doable in Nigeria. And the funniest thing is that these politicians... They have been going abroad from time immemorial. They know what is happening. You see their children all over the world, everywhere. But they will not stay back in Nigeria. They will go and be coming back. You want to tell me they don't know what has been happening? They don't know what has been happening. They don't know that this is this thing that is good for the people. They always go. And you know, all this uh, abroad, all this uh, Western world or developed countries. Those things that are good for their citizens. They have not even deemed it fit. Oh, let it be replicated in our own, own country. Let our people you know enjoy you know good life no because it is wickedness they will be telling you there's no money there's no money but you will see them collecting a, a huge salaries allowances and all of that at the end of the day they will serve for four years and they will place themselves on life pension and the pension they are collecting is not is not here and I always say it, it's really ironic that the so-called developed countries, their politicians cannot even receive what our politicians who are presiding over poverty, over people who are living in abject poverty. How do you relate all of those things? It's really baffling. And the same people who are oppressed, they will still be, they will still be the set of people that will be praising these people. Because they know that they don't know their left from their right. The ones that know because they are in power, they don't want good things for you. It is doable... You will not see people traveling abroad if 
things are okay in your house, if things are okay in your country, what are you looking for up and down? You think uh, 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 most of us are always run to the other side of the of, of the world because when you get it, when you you're just like oh what is happening? Is this heaven, and which is nothing? Because I don't just know because if you have not seen any difference or you have been living in the in same area the same thing you have not ever seen any good thing so you it will be so difficult to be able to convince people and the most of those people are the really are the ones who always go out to vote the ones that even see no little light yet they will say i'm not interested because my vote will not count are you still going to blame them you can't blame them so until we come together and get it right and be united that is when it will happen because we can't continue keeping quiet so it's good that these uh, these uh, groups have really come out these uh, civil societies we have really come out to say no we can't continue like this we can't continue like this everybody is condemning it even the so-called people who are really close to the who are even in the presidency who are in the party they know that these things you know things that have been happening are not just the way to go now the vice president has come out to say oh you wouldn't want to go for that award that it is uh, slated for him to get because of what happened because he has not been saying anything people have been calling his names even some few people from the apc even say the same thing because they know that you cannot even justify what is what is what is really glaring to the whole world now they are telling uh, the outside world that they are being misinformed that uh, uh, she will stage manage the whole thing you can imagine and they'll just be lying and they are not even ashamed of all of those things. So they have given the federal government uh, 14 days to release Shiwore and others. They have to release them. If not, that the civil disobedience will still occur. Since they themselves, they are fond of uh, disobeying court order. They will know how it feels. Now you are involved in all of these things. Now you still want to say you want to regularize, so, uh, uh, regu uh, uh, regulate a social media. Someone said, if only you can live up to your threat not to shy away at the at the sight of a few guns from few security men just come out and dare them and let's see how their guns can kill everybody in the arena please give this and location i will join in the protest now you guys are walking up gradually waking up gradually my take is really on the state of the nation right decision immediately strike would have been been the best 14 days is far too much for a dictatorship government Nigeria need organized political democratic structure and I'm sure it will only happen during mass peaceful protests over the nation and 14 days will not be enough. Someone say you can only shut your house door but you cannot shut down Nigeria. Someone say you are talking trash rubbish. Shore has committed treasonable uh, uh, coup d'etat felony which can never be accepted in any country of the world, be it in USA, Britain, Germany, this and this and this and that. But uh, uh, disobedience to court order is allowed in all those places. Leave people living in hijacked poverty is allowed in that, those areas, which we, we have already taken as normal thing. That is what this particular person is talking about. I don't know what you think about this whole thing. So guys, leave your comments below and let's hear your own take concerning um, uh, civil societies, uh, uh, a submission that if the federal government does not release Shore 14 days that there's going to be a total shutdown. Thank you very much. Bye.